Flying a glider is probably the closest thing a human can come to feeling like a bird. These aircraft don't have an engine, but instead rely on a combination of gravity and airflow to soar through the air. Hi, I'm Tom, and today I'm going to give you a closer look at these amazing machines. Gliders are generally pretty similar to normal planes. They have a similar shape, a smooth surface, and use the same control surfaces or movable sections of the wing and tail to control the direction of flight. But that's where the similarities end. Compared to most powered aircraft, these gliders are lighter, have longer and narrower wings, and have a significantly smaller cabin. They also have the challenge of having no engine, so in order to get up in the air, we need a tow. An aero tow involves using a long rope to connect the glider to a regular plane. The plane takes off and then, when the glider is at the desired altitude or height, the glider pilot releases the rope. The pilot can then change direction away from the aeroplane to fly the glider on its own. From there, in the right conditions, the glider can stay up in the air for several hours. But how does it do that? Well, it's able to stay in the air by balancing the forces of gravity, lift and drag. As you can guess, to stay in the air for a long time, the most important force to conquer is gravity. To do this, the glider needs to use lift from the force of the air on the underside of the wing. In wings, lift is controlled by three factors. Surface area, shape and angle of attack. Most wings are curved on the top and less curved on the bottom. As the wing pushes through the air, the air on top of the wing must move a little faster than the air on the bottom. So with the right shape and surface area, this helps to create slightly lower pressure on the top, which allows greater air pressure beneath the wing to push the plane up. The angle of attack is the direction of the wing as it faces into the airflow. Increasing the angle of attack means increasing the amount of air hitting directly on the bottom, which gives the wing more lift. That's why, if you face the glider downwards, using gravity, this allows the glider to fly fast enough to generate the lift it needs to support its weight. The glider can then go higher by travelling through the rising air currents, which are usually caused by the air being heated by the warm ground below. Then, when it comes time to land, the pilot can deploy spoilers or air brakes on each of the glider's wings. These devices disrupt the airflow over the wing, which drastically reduces the lift it produces and also increases the drag. As the aircraft gets closer to the ground, we also slow down and increase the angle of attack to balance the forces of gravity and lift to let the aircraft gently sink to the ground. This allows the glider to safely land on a single wheel located under the pilot and the tail wheel or skid. So with a little physics and some help from Mother Nature, these incredible gliders can soar through the air with ease.